Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at stat priority and understanding the importance of stat priority and how it works in determining how good your class is. So we'll start with understanding the very basics which is main stats. Now main stats are for my class agility, stamina and armor but for most classes, it will be your priority stat, being strength, dexterity, agility, or intelligence. And then it will be stamina and armor. Now, stamina is very important. It determines your health threshold, agility, intellect, strength, or dexterity. Determines your damage capabilities, or in some cases, for your main class, your armor resistance as well as some additional attack power basis and then also of course your armor stat which just is a generic stat that determines your damage reduction these are three main stats and these are the three main stats you'll see on the majority of gear gear will basically guarantee these stats if they are appropriate for your class being armor stamina and your main priority stat this does not change if you're wearing a piece of gear that drops stats that are not adequate for your class then you immediately should not be wearing that piece of gear you can potentially get pieces of gear that only drop stamina related items but this is okay it's generally just part of the process beyond that I would say understanding the main stats is pretty simple there's not a lot to them and they're just the generic starting point when it comes to gear. The general rule of thumb is if you gain a very large increase in your priority damage stat, being agility, intellect, strength, or dexterity, then you should prioritize that piece of gear for the most part. Generally, the weight of main stats is highly prioritized over the weight of substats or secondary stats, which we'll talk about very shortly. So if you are gaining a huge main stat attribute upgrade, you should always consider that piece of gear over your secondary stats, as those are your main determining powers or stat lines for your attack damage. Next, we get secondary stats. Now, secondary stats are very important to understanding because they're kind of like fine-tuning your, your class. If you're playing a class and you want it to be most effective, you need to understand your secondary stats. Now, a lot of them are common across classes. Uh, for example, Critical Strike has the same effect on every single class. Uh, Haste has the same effect on every single class. Mastery is different per class. And this is very important to understand because this can become a priority stat for some classes. Versatility is a generic stat that's the same across every single class. And then you get some additional stats like Leech, Avoidance, Dodge, and Parry, each of which have their own significant kind of functionality. Now, it's important to understand that for certain classes, stat lines can be completely different. So a great example is Rogues, for example, favor Critical Strike. And then they favor Mastery and Versatility. As a general rule of thumb, is always your third most important stat. For most spell casting classes, haste is always a priority stat, alongside mastery in some cases, and again, versatility is your third line stat. For tanking classes, again, generally speaking, haste is your priority stat, then coupled by either critical hit or mastery, depending on if you're a paladin or a demon hunter, and then versatility is your third line stat. What this means is basically you should prioritize pieces of gear, and have your priority stat so for example rogues should have as much crit strike as possible and then their next highest stat they should seek to have should be mastery in the same way for me as a vengeance demon hunter i should actually be prioritizing haste but sometimes you can't really control this and we're going to talk about how you can control this in the next section but it's important to understand your stat distribution is important the reason why is although stat distributions have what's called diminishing returns, meaning the more stat you gain in them, you will get less and less of their effect. An important thing to understand about this is that 
these stats can drastically change your gameplay style. A great example of this is Fire Mage, whereby crit striking, same as with Enhancement Shami, can dramatically change how your rotations play out. Then we talk about stat distribution. It's a little bit difficult to actually manage because item level is kind of this generic uh, kind of signifier that whether an item is better or not. But there's two important things to understand. The important thing to understand is one, certain items will give more secondary stats like rings and trinkets. And then the second important thing to understand is that your stat distribution is generally going to be dependent on which items you convert into set pieces. So most items you will change generally based on the item level. However, you have the ability to create set items in the Dragonflight expansion. So what I can suggest to you is to look up your BIS slot, set piece slots, convert those into set pieces to have the right stat distribution on those four pieces, and then proceed from there. That's generally a good rule of thumb to give yourself a good basis to work off of. And then you can enchant, gem, etc. to kind of prioritize what you can. And this is just a basic rundown of stat distribution, but I thought it'd be something that's helpful to most players. So I thought it could be something nice and quick and easy for you guys to understand. If you want more information, let me know. See you next time. Bye.